What do you do, bitch? What's new, bitch? <laughs> Look at how light. Like, son, don't play me. I'm not that light, okay? And this v-neck trying to make me look like a flat-chested little boy. I didn't even get a chance to watch it yet, but I really need to. Need to go ahead and watch the... Jackie Anna made a video about how she sweats all the time. And y'all don't even know I'm always sweating. Basically, since it's transitioning into like the colder seasons that's all good and well and i know people are ready for it to not be hot as hell outside no more like i'm cool with a good medium but anytime that the weather is to where i need to wear anything with sleeves even these kind of sleeves long sleeves anything with sleeves if you guys notice when i go out or not even when i go out just all the time when it's hot out, I don't wear sleeves. I'll wear strapless. I'll wear sleeveless. Not even really short sleeve. I'll wear off the shoulder. Anything that doesn't have shit like all under my arms. And I don't know if you guys have this problem too. But anytime I have stuff just clutched under my arms, it just makes me sweat. It doesn't matter how cold I am. Um, of course, if I'm hot, I'm going to sweat more. But it doesn't matter if I'm cold or comfortable with the temperature. Having shit underneath my arms like that just makes me sweat. So throughout fall and winter is actually when I'm sweating more because I can't just wear a regular uh, sleeveless shirt like I would want to so that my underarms aren't getting all irritated or whatever word you want to use. But yeah, I can't wear that of course because it's going to be getting cold I have to like wear appropriate clothes so I don't really know what I should do about that like I'm going to have to do something about it eventually the only steps I've ever really taken about me sweating and stuff is just figuring out the right deodorant for me to use which I use a good deodorant that works well for me now like I don't be sweating and like smelling all nasty and shit but I do sweat like definitely I used to get made fun of that's one thing that I got made fun of for in middle school but um you know the good part that comes out about that is that I got made fun of in middle school for being musty like being sweaty and stuff and you know what that's okay because it was something that I did need to check in about myself like I need to check myself about my personal hygiene but um the delivery was definitely off with that like you know as a young girl of course we're going to be learning about our bodies we're going to be learning about our hygiene and we're going to be learning about all that kind of stuff um as we're growing up you know so of course it's horrible to be made fun of for such a thing when you really just don't know like you really just don't even know but I definitely got made fun of about being musty, being sweaty back in the day. And you know what the fuck I did? I tried each and every fucking deodorant until something worked for my ass, okay? Because a bitch was a bitch was not going to keep on going and getting called musty, you know what I'm saying? I don't always think that there's truth to what people be saying. Sometimes people would just be talking out their ass. But you know what? Sometimes... When people is telling you the same thing over and over again, now delivery is important, but if a lot of people is telling you the same things, maybe it's actually you, and maybe you need to. Hey guys, I know I look a mess with this struggly ponytail. And you can see my back. Hey. Um, I am just getting ready right now. I was going to go pick up. Well, no, I was going to. I'm going to go pick up some Fenty Beauty. And, of course, let's see. Will this stay? I'm just trying to call Sephora, the closest one to me. And, of course, they're not answering the phone. Like, no wonder people have such bad customer service with Sephora. I've had bad customer service with Sephora, too. That's why I don't, I don't be going in there like that, to be honest.
Like, what the fuck? All right. So I'm finna hang up and I'm Vince to call again. That makes no sense that I shouldn't be able to just call to just see if they have their stuff in stock. This is my third time calling. And this shit is still ringing like dead ass. See, now they're going to irritate me. Y'all wonder why I don't go to Sephora? This is why. Like, I never have problems with Ulta. I don't. And it's probably just because I could go in there and already know what I'm doing. But at least if I call, I, they'll answer. I hate when I call a business. Thank you for answer. calling JC Penny at the Grand Canyon. Located on Grand Canyon Parkway in Flamingo. For hours and directions, press 1. For salon, press 2. For list of departments, press 3. For appliances and furniture, press 4. For Sephora, press 5. For portraits, press 6. Hi, I was just calling to see if you guys had the Fenty Beauty in stock. We do. Okay, that's all I was wondering. Thank you. Alright, no problem. I called like four times for that. Let's fucking go! I don't know if you guys get tired of being in the car, if you guys are cool with it, like, I don't know, but... That's where we bees at most of the time. All right, we made it. You know why I'm here? This has to be like the most secluded, like out the way, so for a, if you even know where I'm at in Vegas. All right, so let's see. <laughs> yes. All right, let me put my phone somewhere. We gotta get one of these. Boom. I don't think any of these are the ones. All right, so that was the little hallway display, but this is like the in-store display. It's really nice has everything displayed this is a really like low key so far so i didn't know if they were gonna have it all but they do so i was in between getting the shade neutral and getting the shade warm and i asked the lady she said i should get neutral people have pointed out in their reviews that the color is a little darker than it may appear in the frosted glass so i am getting neutral foundation the fenty gloss the um, Mean Money and Hustler Baby highlighters, which are like down here. And I'm getting Suede Contour Stick. And I'm getting the Precision Pre um, Sponge. All right, it's lit in the streets. I got my Fenty Beauty. It is Tuesday though, and I wanted to go to Popeyes because I only go to Popeyes on Tuesday. And if you guys didn't know, they be having this two-piece special, or they used to, and now places want to act like they don't have it. So I don't know if it's like real ghetto or what. I don't care, but I'm just gonna call and see if they do the Tuesday special because I only go for the Tuesday special, you know. So if there's no Tuesday special, I probably ain't going. So let me just call. Why is nobody answering my damn phone calls today?
And by the way, that Sephora did not have like nobody in there and three employees. So they definitely could have answered the phone faster. For sure. See, and I'm just calling for like simple ass shit, so that's why it's annoying. Like, just answer, so I could just ask you my quick question, and I could, and the phone could stop ringing. Now this is busy signal. Oh fucking k. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys have the Tuesday special here. You do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Boom! You see how easy that shit is? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Unforgettable. Thank you for choosing Popeyes. What can I make for today? Can I have two Tuesday specials and a large red beans and rice? A large Cajun rice? Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice and uh, four, you said, please? And what? <laughs> you said two Tuesday specials? Yeah. Spicy or mom? Spicy. Spicy? Yeah. Right, I got your total in the next one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, you know? Thank you, too. How lazy I really am is I just came all the way in my garage, parked, and everything. And what I'm really going to do is reverse it on up and go check the mailbox. Over here cussing the fucking old ass motherfucker out that can't drive and I get home and spill my fucking Popeye's red beans and rice. music I play, I'll be like, y'all better cut it. It's so easy to find music, y'all. Hey! Hey guys, so I am back. Um, I didn't get back on yesterday, but it's the next day. I really just got like so irritated because first of all I've been cooped up in the house and I was cooped up in the house to do this Fenty video now I'm gonna get on my way I'm not even gonna hold stand here and do all this but I just want you guys to know I have a ring light and another like made ring light and a regular room light okay so when I'm up here yeah I look light okay now when I'm back here, I don't look as light. Once again, when I'm up here, yeah, I look light. When I'm back here, I don't look nearly as light, okay? So with that being said, and I have to turn this off. Honestly, I'm a, not gonna lie, I'm a little frustrated can't see me running into the door long story short I stayed home yesterday to record that and I stayed up today to edit it and get it uploaded I said in the video that my foundation was coming off very light because of the lighting which is why I showed you guys how the lighting makes me look it makes me look a lot lighter than I really am and you guys could probably see I know my vlogging camera is not the best quality but 
I'm sure you guys can tell that my foundation is the right color, you know? Um, a lot of the time in all these videos, my foundation just looks like it's the wrong color just because of my lighting. Which, I know that. But, do you guys want me to not upload these videos because my foundation is not the right color? Please let me know because I won't upload it. Like, especially if I've already, like, if I've already said in the video that, like, I could see that the foundation is coming across light and I noticed that when I was actually editing it that's when I noticed that the foundation was coming across light and I stated such the foundation is coming across light because of my lighting I have on three lights in front of my face and that's why it looks like that and then just get like all these fucking found like there was a comment that was like you dumb bitch your foundation is not the right color like it's annoying like and that so this is how I'm looking today like what the fuck <laughs> looking like who did it and why hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah get a good look take it all in cuz I am about to get my hair done I took my hair down today to wash it and everything I'm just getting like some quick braids I needed to get my take my hair down anyway and get it rebraided so I'm just gonna get some braids for now but my hair is so freaking dry once I take this week once I take these braids out uh, I'm gonna have to get a haircut you guys can see I need a haircut and I don't know I need like some kind of deep condition or something but yeah, my ass is over here lollygagging and shit. And excuse, like, this old lady romper kind of thing. Like, I know, guys. It's, like, kind of cute, but, like, not really. And especially because it's so wrinkly and it's kind of, like, big. It just don't look that cute, but. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm over here taking my sweet-ass time. When I should kind of be hurrying up a little bit because I still have to go get hair. I think I'm just going to wear my slides. I still got to get hair for my hair to get done. So I actually forgot about that. Alright, so the ponytail is successful and so is the scarf. So it's time to go now. This is my hair. My ends are looking real sparse. My... I really need a haircut. Like... I don't know why my hair is so dry, but. First of all, why the fuck is braiding hair so expensive? Like, isn't it like plastic? Like, I thought braiding hair was supposed to be like a dollar or two dollars a pack. I just spent $16 on three packs of braiding hair. I just feel like braiding hair was not that expensive. But I don't even get braids that often, to be honest. I feel like braiding hair and crochet hair you might as well just add a little bit more money and get like a two like two bundles or something well i mean but i guess people don't necessarily get that just because they don't want to pay but if you feel like the braids the crochets the non-human wigs be cheaper than getting some bundles i just can't see it because if you pay this you can only wear your braids for like what maybe a month if that, I, I usually don't wear my braids that long. So you're really paying that and then you're going to go pay some more. Plus you're paying to get it done. Like you could get a wig made and get some bundles for like a couple hundred. And you can have that like, I don't know. I never understood. Because it's just, it honestly ends up being just as expensive if not more. If you're trying to cut costs. But if you just like the style, I totally feel you. That's why I'm doing it because I just like the style. So you know different strokes different strokes for different folks but i'm hungry i definitely could have eaten at home because i have so much food at home i still have time maybe i'll just go back home i see and i don't want to go back home now that i'm already out like i never do that so i think i'm just gonna have to get something to eat i can go to in and out it's a lot of places but None of this stuff right here is stuff I want. Oh, there's a Taco Bell over there. I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. Super healthy, right? Hey 
guys, so I am at Walmart and I'm actually in the skincare aisle. Of course, clearly getting thrown off track because it's not what I came in here for, but it's okay. I get most of my skincare stuff from Walmart, not really from like Ulta or any place like that. I don't know, I'm pretty cheap with the skincare, especially because my skin takes care of itself most of the time. But I'm running low on products, so I'm just getting some more stuff. This is the rest of the stuff I got. I guess this has been recording the whole time, but my basket is super loud. But Walmart ain't playing with the uh, Christmas designs because it's literally only October 4th. It's, it's early October, and they said, Nick, fuck that. We're going to be ready. So come get your shit. I just passed a display with all these lashes that I know are going to be on sale after Halloween, so I'm hyped. I know y'all have y'all little like ethnic aisle in y'all Walmart. That's where I'm at. I needed some, I need to get some gel, which the Eco Styler gel I usually get. It looks like it's like busted open or something. That's all like, yeah. And I wanted to get this one and I was thinking about still getting it, but I'm not gonna get one that was open. So I'm trying this one, this Arrogant Oil one. I just need some gel. I even got the clear ice throwback. Pretty much done. I think I'm gonna try to get some stuff for my hair because my hair is dry actually. I do need to get some stuff for my hair. Then we're done.